so hello everyone today we will be talking about how to um, code a qtr 8 array sensor with arduino nano so it doesn't matter actually if you use arduino uno or a nano or any other arduino so basically it's all about how to code uh, for a qtr sensor in pid so what's a pid actually so pid stands for proportional derivative and integral so basically uh, through uh, integral factors uh, it defines a uh, error value so depending on that error value uh, the PID the bot decides whether uh, it should take a left turn or a right turn so basically uh, what it helps a uh, PID helps in actually in more accurate uh, calculations and way faster uh, actions so today we'll be looking at how to code a PID actually we won't take a look on the whole code because it would take time uh, so basically I will uh, talk about how you can get this code and get your job job done so first uh, from tools you have to install the QTR library so uh, sorry in not in tools in uh, uh, from the sketch so from this sketch you have to include the library so to include the library go to manage libraries under sketch and then just filter your search writing qtr so here you can see there there, there is something called qtr sensors and install that so i have already installed that's why uh, it's um, telling me it's installed so in your case you have to click install and close and restart your IDE after installing a library okay so what's the problem uh, in the code you find online so basically the uh, QTR 8 array we usually found in our market is the Chinese QTR ar uh, 8 array so it looks uh, kinda like this I think yep so basically this uh, Chinese QTR is uh, QTR 8A that means it's analog so the mostly the code found online or in the Arduino page or in the featured uh, pages the code is basically uh, the 8RC QTR 8RC array code that means that's a bit digital so that's why when you use those libraries and those codes uh, your code doesn't work so uh, now we will see how to code an analog QTR 8 array sensor so in, a f in the first section we can see uh, we have initialized kp ki and kd uh, remember you have to remember you have to you must have to uh, tune up this code for kp ki and kd so that this uh, whole code works so don't, don't just upload and uh, expect to uh, run your robot the missile where you're doing uh, to control okay uh, so here you can also see we have initialized some max speeds and base speed for two of our motors and here uh, you have to configure your pin numbers of your motor driver which I have used L298N and then a mode I have kept a, kept a mode for um, controlling this thing in Bluetooth or in maze solver mode so you can understand I think when you go through the code whole code and then we have some things here which actually initializes the pins that means the output pins for uh, the motor driver and 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 the sensor pins so that means here uh, you have to configure your sensor pins that means uh, all the eight uh, uh, eight area of your sensor goes in what pin like uh, I have uh, used some pins here and there is an LED pin in your QTR 8 area sensor so use that in uh, I have used that in number two uh, of my digital pin so you can change that uh, whenever you want and however you want and then there are functions so I have mostly coded in uh, object oriented formats which is really uh, good to maintain so you can see I have uh, created functions and all the other things separately I have uh, calibration uh, the loop is the main loop and then uh, to 
drive the motor so i have a few functions forward back left right and uh, stop and pid control uh, so this is the main thing actually how the pid is controlled so um, in case of this pid it calculates the pid in the basis of an error i have uh, mentioned uh, earlier i think so uh, according to uh, the whole method uh, the there is a speed that uh, yeah, that uh, the whole uh, function determines at the end and send its uh, send the data to the uh, forward motor driving code and that drives your maze solver and all the other things are for your bluetooth section that's this is the bluetooth section and uh, all the other things so uh, what's the problem actually what is the uh, actual problem with the internet code right so here you can see uh, in this code we have initialized qtr a set type analog so in, in most of the codes in most of the in, uh, codes if you find online or in the internet you can see there is qtr set type uh, RC I think or something else there is something else uh, initialized uh, before and a few of the formats uh, like set sensor pin and a few of the formats are uh, not in this uh, this is a basically a old and old format which is not actually followed right now so that's why uh, the whole uh, problem starts here so this is the part you have to look up to and that solves your problem i think and yep with this thing i hope you uh, understand a bit of it uh, but uh, to understand the more of it if you want the whole explanation how it works and uh, how it needs to be debugged you can comment down in the video so that uh, i understand you need more explanation till then uh, i wish you can run this code goodbye